Hi everyone and welcome back to another Stay in Touch video. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up routing for a group block. To get started, let's first locate our group and then configure it for bill routing. Begin by clicking the sidebar menu, Groups, and then Manage Groups. Then select your group, keeping in mind that you may need to use the date buttons to locate a reservation in the future. Once selected, Rover will automatically open the Group Summary tab. Choose the Add Billing Information button next. This pop-up window is where you control the different aspects of the group's bill routing. You can always return to this window to make changes or update this information. Begin by selecting a date range. You can choose to set a start and end date for the range as long as the dates are on or within the group's stay dates. Next, the entity should match the group's name. Then select Add New Payment Method. One quick important note regarding direct bill here. Do not select direct bill from the list of options presented. Direct bill is specifically used for cards with an accounts receivable number attached, which includes company and travel agents. Direct billing will never be used with groups. So for this example, let's set up bill routing with a credit card. Enter the card details. Select Add Card. Now just choose the billing group or select individual charge codes. Choose Save Route and you're done. Now from the Rooming List tab, select a reservation. Then choose to open the Reservation Stay card. You can see that routing is set up because routing displays here and the group's name appears in the Associated With section. If we select the group card in the header of the page, we can review additional details about the group as well. There's just one more note I'd like to point out regarding bill routing. Let's select the Bill and Charges button on the Stay card to access the Guest Bill page. Bill routing does not result in a secondary bill being created on this page. If you're familiar with the direct bill process, you might assume that a secondary bill would appear on this page since routing and direct bill have a very similar setup process. However, with routing, this is not the case. All this means for you is you will never see a second bill created as a result of routing. Well folks, that covers today's how-to video. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for new videos on our YouTube page and in our knowledge base.